What's up, everybody? Justin, you're back with another, uh, whatever, part or episode of my wrestling figures collection. I'm going to try. I've got a lot left to share and show, so I don't know if I can get through all these in one more part. Who knows? I doubt I can get through all of them. It'd probably take an hour or like 50, 40 minutes. So I'm going to try to show a lot of these really quick. Up first, Y2J Chris Jericho, the guy's a missing leg, sadly. His leg broke. Anyways, here's Y2J Chris Jericho with one leg, sadly. Here's a 1991 vintage. WCW action figure, the total package, Lex Luger, there he is. Kind of looks like him, pretty much. Here is current Impact Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion, the greatest man that ever lived, Austin Aries. There is Austin Aries. Back when he used to wear his little tight shorts. I don't know what year I got this, maybe 2013 or 12. There is, or maybe 2008. I don't really remember. Or 2010. There's Austin Aries. Looks like I'm pretty much. This is a Impact Wrestling action figure. Here's a... Uh, This is vintage. It's from the 80s, and uh, when I was a young kid, I was stupid. I painted on his bald head I, with a black marker. I don't know why I did it. Again, I was stupid and immature. I was probably like five or six years old when I, or four years old when I did that. Here's me, Gene Okerlin, but he's pretty, barely looks like him. There's me, Gene Okerlin. Again, I painted on his bald head. Because kids are stupid and I was a pretty stupid kid. So anyways, here is a WWE Legend Hall of Famer. I believe I got this figure in 2004 or 5. Part of a Legends collection. Sergeant Slaughter. There is Sergeant Slaughter. There he is. He actually comes with a green hat and sunglasses, but I don't have them. I don't have them on me, but I still have them. Here's a uh, Just Incredible from ECW. Sadly, the guy's been arrested twice in the past month. I hope he cleans himself up and stops getting in trouble. I know the guy probably is... Alcoholism, drug addiction, I don't know what he's what his problems are, but I hope he can get clean. And he's probably gonna have to serve a lot of time. Here's just incredible. The guy is a great ECW world champion and a very good worker. Here is the murderer. The guy was one of my favorite wrestlers. But then he became a murderer and decided to kill his son and wife. Here is uh, Chris Benoit. Chris Benoit. You would think I would have destroyed this figure after the guy uh, murdered his family, but I didn't. I don't know what happened to him. I, I can't explain it. What made him do that? The guy's a great worker. Damn good wrestler. Anyways, here's a Chris Benoit. Back of his tights, it says Crippler. It's like blue stripes on his black tights. I will never defend what Chris Benoit did and say the concussions made him do it or someone else killed them. It was not a conspiracy. Nobody else killed them. Benoit did it. I don't know. 
When I see Chris Benoit matches on the WWE Network, I still watch them. The guy was a great worker, just, I don't know, what, something went wrong with him, and the guy just snapped. If you snap, if you got depression problems, or I don't know what he was on, drugs or pills or alcohol, don't kill your family. Just take yourself out if you're that miserable. Do not take other people with you that don't deserve to be taken. And his son and his wife did not deserve to be taken. There are rumors that Chris and Nancy were involved with beating each other up. Domestic violence a lot. I don't know if it's true. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if uh, Nancy screamed at him before he snapped. That's no excuse for what he did. Here is a 1997 figure, Road Warrior Animal. There he is, Road Warrior Animal, WWF figure. Here is a WWE, or still is F, when I got it at the time in 2001. Or maybe I got them in 2002. But they didn't become WWE until like April or May 2002. Here is the Hurricane. The Hurricane. There he is. There he is. Here is WCW figure. I don't know why he's in this gear, but he is. Red and yellow cowboy boots. Here is Hawk Hogan. The red and yellow cowboy boots. And look at the one special thing he does. Oh my goodness. He lifted his leg up and hit a big boot. That is basically all Hogan could do is a big boot and a leg drop. But good for him. The guy was super over with barely having to do anything. And uh. He did suffer. Hogan did pay the price and he did pay his dues because from dropping that leg over and over, the guy suffered injuries in his back and spinal cord and he had like eight back surgeries. So you can bash Hogan and say he wasn't a good worker. He was never a good wrestler. He wasn't as good as Ric Flair, stuff like that. But Hogan still paid the price and his body paid the price. He paid the price being in the wrestling business. Here he is, a legend, hardcore legend. He'll be a special guest referee at Hell in a Cell 2018, Cactus Jack. Here's Cactus Jack. It's not Mick Foley, but here's Cactus Jack. There he is. Bang, bang. Here is... Uh, Let's grab a couple. Gangrel got this figure in 98 or 99. There he is, Gangrel. The Brood. Remember the Brood? I do. The Brood had an epic, awesome theme song. There is Gangrel. Actually, has his tongue pierced and his vampire teeth in. There he is. The late, great Latino Heat, rest in peace. Here is Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero. There's Eddie. Damn, I miss Eddie. Here's a tag team. Got them in, I believe I got these figures in 97. The Headbangers, Mosh and Thrasher. Here are the Headbangers. They both came in skirts, but Mosh, I guess, is ripped. It's missing. I don't know where the hell it is. There's Mosh. His shirt says Headbangers. I don't know what the hell Thrasher's shirt has some picture on it. it says Chiller, whatever the hell that is. So there it is, the Head Bangers.
Because sadly, this guy was paralyzed from an accident in the ring in 99. Here is Draws. There's Draws. Wearing his draws, his boxer shorts. A lot of tattoos on him. Tongue out. The black tape fist. Pretty cool looking figure. Mohawk, shaved head. There is draws. Very sad. He's very sad. The guy's in a wheelchair. But uh, at, least, at least he's still with us. WCW figure, I believe I got in 99 or 98. Uh, doesn't really look like him. Kind of looks like him, but looks like he's 12 years old. Here's Raven. And his face looks like he's a kid. Anyways, here is Raven. These WCW figures, uh, this is what Raven can do. Not much else, really. Can lift his legs out. Here is uh, Prince Albert. Here is Prince Albert. Or Albert. Or A-Train, whatever you want to call him. There he is. Here is Booker T. Harlem Heat. Harlem Heat Booker T. I believe I got this figure. Some dust on him. I believe I got him 95, 96. There is Booker T. And I actually have his brother also, Stevie Ray. Here they are, Harlem Heat. This is Stevie Ray. There's Booker. Stevie Ray a bit bigger. Uh, same height, basically. And these WCW figures from 94, 95, 96, didn't, they didn't move. They're hard, really hard rubber. Like, really hard rubber. You bash this in someone's head, it would hurt. So there's Harlem Heat. Matching gear. There they are. They did not come with Sister Sherry. Sadly. That would have been cool if they would have. Who's the other Truth Commission member? What's his name? What was his name? Recon? I believe his name was Recon. Later on, he became Bull Buchanan. So here's, uh, I think his name is Recon of the Truth Commission. There he is. I showed you in the last figures collection video, I showed you his partner, Kurgan. There's Recon. Here is Brett, the Hitman Hart. Got this figure in 96. I think. There's Bret Hart. Pink and black gear. Sadly, the paint was worn off because I wrestled with him a ton when I was growing up. There's Bret the Hitman Hart. Here is a Nation of Domination member. I'm going to try to go through these really quick. Let me grab some more. Nation of Domination member. Here is a uh, comma. Comma, also the Godfather, which I showed you in the last video. Here is comma. Comma Mustafa, Nation of Domination gear. There he is. A lot of tattoos on him. his arms are covered. And kind of looks like him. Here is Sable. Looks nothing like her. And she has giant, giant boobs on this figure. Looks like cartoon character out of a comic book action figure. Seriously, this is supposed to be Sable. They're Sable. Dressed like a whore. Like she used to dress. There she is. Looks not, look at her face. Absolutely nothing like her. Seriously, this, whoever's face this is, they look like they're out of a damn cartoon. Here is 1998 figure, WWF Attitude Era. 
Dr. Death, Steve Williams. Rest in peace, Dr. Death, Steve Williams. There he is. Kind of looks like him, but a lot younger version. Like when he first started in the early 80s. Here is ECW, two ECW figures. Here is, I'll give you a third. Let us see right here. Here is FBI member Little Guido. His uh, green trunks have really faded. There's Little Guido. Here's Rhino. Rhino. ECW figure Rhino. Pretty much they look like each other. Here's a third ECW figure. I got all these in 99. 1999 here is a franchise Shane Douglas. There is Shane Douglas. Pretty much looks like him. Except he looks pretty old. Here's another ECW figure. New Jack. Yes, I have a New Jack figure. I don't know why the back of his shirt and the front. There's New Jack. Front of his shirt and the back, for some reason, say No Limit Soldiers. I'm surprised Master P didn't try to sue. There is New Jack, the original gangster. Here is another guy that was in, he got over big time in ECW and then got to return to the WWF. Here is Al Snow. Al Snow. Painted on his forehead. Says, help me. I do have the little head, but I don't have it on me. It's upstairs. There's Al Snow. Here is... Uh, Another ECW figure, Lance Storm. His legs and arms are pretty stiff. Gotta bend them out. Here's Lance Storm. There he is. Here's a WC2, uh, two WCW figures. Here is Sid. Psycho Sid, Sid Vicious, whatever you want to call him. He looks pretty damn nuts and jacked up. There's Sid. Leg, actually. Well, however the hell this works. This thing doesn't even work. Pull it down or something. I guess his leg's supposed to snap out, but it's not working. There it goes. Well, there's Sid. There's another WCW figure. I never was a fan of him. I only, I would have never bought this figure, but it came in a deluxe package of four. Four Horsemen member, sadly. He was in the Four Horsemen. He didn't deserve to be, and he shouldn't have been. Steve Mongo McMichael. Mongo. Yes, they made a Mongo figure. And that looks, uh, his face looks like Fabio with black hair. Steve Mongo Michael, there he is. The guy was a god awful wrestler. There's another Four Horsemen member, Dean Malenko. There's Dean Malenko. Dean Malenko. There's another Al Snow figure for the Job Squad. You see it says property of the Job Squad. There's Al Snow again. That's, I only have two Al Snow figures, so no more Al Snow. Here is a, here's a mixture of WCW WWF and one ECW figure. First off, never as a fan of this guy. Here is Buff Bagwell. Buff Bagwell. There's a goofy ass look on his face. Smiling like a jackass. 
was buff on his tights. And then, what do you know? There's a picture of him. Buff Bagwell. Got this in, like, I think, 99 or 2000. Rick Steiner of the Steiner Brothers. There is Rick Steiner. WWF Attitude Era figure. A DOA member. I don't know his name. It's either Chain, not Chains, A Baller Skull. There is one of the Harris brothers. The stupid DOA, the guys that would come on the bikes, motorcycle. I always hated that faction. The DOA, I thought it was stupid. Never cared for it. ECW figure, rest in peace. Balls Mahoney. There's Balls Mahoney. Here's a really old figure. Part of his hand it actually fell off. It's probably like 1991 Arn Anderson. There is Arn Anderson. It's weird. He's all rubbery. You know, pull his legs. It's stupid. There's Arn Anderson. Here is a mixture of WWF and WCW figures. Here is a WWF's Attitude Era Nation of Domination member, Savio Vega. There is Savio Vega. There he is. And there's I got a tape around him because the guy's body actually broke in half. So the tape's holding him together. Here is a WCW action figure from 1991, Scott Steiner. There he is. It's not Big Papa Pump. He is a mullet. Scott Steiner from, like, early 90s. Here is WWF figure I believe I got in 2001 or 2. X-Factor. Remember that group? That was barely around. x Factor member, just incredible. WWF, just incredible figure. I showed you earlier, I did ECW, just incredible. Here's a WWF one. You know, it really looks like his face. And sadly, man, please, man, just incredible. Just get clean, get your life on track. Here is a uh, Ministry of Darkness. Figure, I believe I got him in '99. And he did return in real life at the '99 Royal Rumble. Here is another guy that's passed away. Rest in peace, Viscera. There is Viscera. The Ministry of Darkness, Black Gear. There he is. The guy's a pretty damn good big man. Guy probably went to pass away. He was also Mabel. If uh, he wasn't so damn obese, he probably would have lived longer. Another guy that passed away, sadly. ECW figure, Mike Awesome. Lost his arm. I don't know where the hell it is, but here's Mike Awesome. Guy's a great big man. Hell of a talent. Guy's a good, I thought he was a pretty damn good ECW world champion. So I'm going to try to grab as many as possible. I don't know how many I've left. In like maybe I don't know, 30 to show you. Here is a Double J. 1996 figure. 95. I don't even know what year I got it. But here's Double J. Jeff Jarrett. There he is. The long blonde hair. Before he cut it. Here is good old Double J. Has his fingers like this. That's stupid. But there it is. A marvelous Mark Miro Attitude Era figure. Let me get the dust off of him. He's been in a box for years. 
Marvelous Mark Merrill. There he is. Here is a Stone Cold, a Stone Cold Steve Austin action figure. His t-shirt did say Austin 316, but it kind of wore off. He's in like blue jeans, I guess, with knee pads over his jeans. There is Stone Cold Steve Austin. What? I'm not going to do that. Don't worry. Like a lot of stupid crowds do at WWE events. They still can't stop saying what. You know, go back on the network or on YouTube and look up when uh, The Undertaker owned the crowd. When they actually repeated during an Undertaker promo, I believe when he was a heel, 2001, I think. Anyways, Undertaker says to the crowd when he's cutting a promo, Say what if you sleep with your sister? <laughs> and the stupid crowd actually all yelled, What? So that was damn funny. I just saw that clip the other day on Twitter. Of the Undertaker owning the crowd. Here's Bushwhacker, like 1991 WWF figure, Bushwhacker Loot. I painted his face because I was stupid as a kid. There he is. Remember that stupid crap? Then when they go like that, I always hated the Bushwhackers. As a kid, I really hated them. So there he is. If the Bushwhackers would ever try to lick me at a live event, I would have punched him in the face. Rest in peace. Here is the Big Boss Man. Big Boss Man. I believe I got this figure in 99 or 98. Rest in peace, Big Boss Man. You were great. Here's a manager barely moves only her arms move up and down here is sable from 1996 yes before she was super over here is sable in a sparkly dress uh, doesn't even look like sable i don't know who the hell that is but probably a barbie head but seriously, this Sable actually came in a deluxe package with a marvelous a wild man, Mark Merrill. So give me a minute, or give me a few seconds while I grab a couple. Here is Nation of Domination, the leader, Varuk. There is Varuk. First ever. Black World Heavyweight Champion in WCW. Here is a uh, rest in peace. Here is our Chris Canyon. Rest in peace. This guy is pretty damn good to work with. Here is Chris Canyon. Rest in peace. Very sad he passed away. I'm not going to say how he passed away, but you can look it up. Also, he was one of the first openly gay wrestlers that actually came out as gay. And uh, just very sad. How he, he took his own life. Very, very sad and tragic. Chris Canyon, the guy's a great worker. Here is another King of Hearts, Owen Hart figure. There's Owen Hart. I showed him in my last wrestling figures video here is from a tag team i might have his partner i think in this box here is uh from billy and chuck billy and chuck here is chuck palumbo there's chuck palumbo from billy and chuck there he is road warrior Hawk, Road Warrior Hawk. Maybe what I'll try to do is a uh, famous, famous saying. Oh, what a rush! Here's a uh, D as I drop one of them on their head. 
Yeah, this is pretty funny. This, this is old school. This brings me back. It's not a WWF or WCW or ECW figure. It's a thumb wrestler. Remember those? Uh, I certainly do. I actually have a big John Stud thumb wrestler. But here's a thumb wrestler. Generic. Jobber. Here's a jobber thumb wrestler. See, I got my thumb up his ass. That's how you would play with them as a kid. Thumb wrestlers, I believe, came out in the 80s. So this guy was only like $1 somewhere. And I got another one with him. So here's a 1991 Ultimate Warrior figure. He had white gear. So I painted it black. There's Ultimate Warrior. Again, jacked out of his skull because the guy abused steroids. So they had to make him look ripped. And he was ripped because he abused fucking steroids. That's probably why he dropped dead before he was 60. Here is Mr. So I gotta get off some dust on my shorts. Mr. Bob Backlund. There's Mr. Bob Backlund. There he is in a suit and uh, bow tie. Kind of looks like him. Pretty much looks like him. Here is uh, the other half of the DOA skull or eight ball. There they are. The Harris brothers. I was never, never a fan of them. So let's see. Here is a 2003 WWE figure, the Ultimo Dragon. There he is. I was a big fan of his. I thought he was awesome. There he is. He didn't have a good run when he came to WWE, but at least he got to be at a WrestleMania. Here is a 1996 figure. It was a Nation of Domination member. Here is Crush. When he had the dreadlock braids, there is Crush. Rest in peace, Crush. Also was Brian Adams. Here is Diamond Dallas Page. WCW 98 figure. Feel the bang. There's DDP. Back when he had kind of a mullet. His side of his head shaved. Had a DP black diamond shirt on. Here's a WWF figures attitude era. This is 1996 Triple H Hunter Hearst Helmsley looks nothing like him. Look at his face. Looks absolutely nothing like him. His uh, his face looks more like Bill Maher. The comedian, seriously. So there's Hunter Hearst Helmsley. As of his blue blood gear. Here is 1997 and WWF figure Dude Love. There's Dude Love. It says uh, Dude on the tights and Love. No, it doesn't say Love. It just says Dude on. Both sides of his tights on the back of his shirt. It says, oh, have mercy. There's dude love. Here is... Ken Shamrock. 1999 figure. Ken Shamrock. World's most dangerous man. The first ever UFC fighter to go to WWF before Ronda Rousey, Ken Shamrock. And damn, he was good. He was, he picked up wrestling really, really fast. Here is, I believe, a 99 Undertaker figure. There's the Undertaker. ECW figure, Jerry Lynn. Jerry Lynn, the new effing show. 
here is uh, D-Lo Brown, Nation of Domination, 1998 figure, D-Lo Brown. He looks nothing like him. And he's like really skinny, and D-Lo was not a skinny guy. D-Lo Brown, the guy's a great worker, I thought. Pretty damn good worker. Another Buff Bagwell. Why the hell do I have two Buff Bagwell figures? I don't know. Here's Buff Bagwell. Black gear. When he was in the NWO, Buff. Here is WCW. This figure is absolutely ridiculous looking. Face looks face is like pale white green looking looks more like a zombie than a wrestler but here's disco inferno look at his face seriously looks absolutely stupid and what do you know with his arm down he actually does his stupid disco whatever the hell it is disco dance look at that Disco Inferno, you were a lousy wrestler. Here is 2002 or three figure. I was a fan of this guy. I thought he was a great worker. Here is Rico, the fashion designer, manager for Billy and Chuck. Rico, there he is. I thought Rico was a good wrestler. I hope he's doing well. I know the guy had a lot of health problems one or two years ago. So here he... Here is a beast, Dan Severin. The beast, Dan Severin. There he is. Here's a miniature, Road Warrior Hawk. Like a miniature rubber, Road Warrior Hawk. Here's a DX Triple H, the purple pants, but his head fell off. There's Triple H. He's a Black Jacks. The tag team, the Black Jacks, here is uh, Barry Windham. That's Barry Windham. Here's a WCW 1994 5 action figure. Actually, you remember where I bought this? In 94 95, my mother bought it for me, but I remember I actually got this at Walgreens. Walgreens, I don't know why you used to have some action figures that I would find. Here is a nasty boy, Jerry Sags. The nasty boy, Jerry Sags. There he is. His shirt is a pretty cool looking, different color, spray painted stripes and lines on it. Nasty boy, Jerry Sags. This. This could hurt somebody so damn hard. Seriously, you crack someone in the head with this, you could probably bust them open. 1991 WCW figure here is Sid Vicious. Sid Vicious. ECW figure here is Nova. There's Nova. ECW figure, Devon Dudley. Devon Dudley. There's Devon. 1997. What dust on me from these uh, figures. 1997, WWF figure. And um, maybe you didn't know this. This guy was actually Rakishi under the mask. The Sultan. The Sultan was Rakishi. Didn't have a long run. Was around a little bit in 1997. 
actually appeared at WrestleMania 13 and got an Intercontinental title shot against one of his relatives, The Rock. So here's uh, the Sultan. I remember he's managed by the Iron Sheik and I think Bob Backlund. His boots actually have that point. There's the Sultan. I thought the Sultan had a pretty cool look, cool character, but didn't last long. NWO Wolfpack Sting. There is NWO Wolfpack Sting. That's what he does when you squeeze his legs. Here's uh, four, the last four from his box. The last four and two of them sadly are gone or passed away. It's our Crash Holly. Crash Holly. There he is. I thought Crash was pretty cool. Pretty good hardcore champion. He was pretty entertaining. And then rest in peace, the ninth wonder of the world. Here is China. Rest in peace, China. Here's Hunter Hearst Helmsley from Crying 1996 again. Again, his face looks like Bill Maher, the comedian. Triple H or this Hunter Hearst Helmsley. To put like a little cast on his wrist because his hands started falling off. I got this again in '96. There's dust on him. And he looks pretty damn dirty. So I put had a lot of matches with this uh, figure. I'm uh, lucky his legs or arms didn't fall off or his head. And the final figure from this. Whatever you want to call it, part or episode of my wrestling figures collection of final figure is a lethal weapon, Steve Blackman. There's Steve Blackman. On the back, there's a picture of a tiger. There's Steve Blackman. Guy was a pretty badass. Backstage, the guy could really fight. I heard Ken Shamrock gave an interview and said the only other tough guy that was in the locker room that could really kick ass was Steve Blackman. So I hope you enjoyed this, whatever you want to call it, episode of my wrestling figures collection. I showed you a lot of figures. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.